Hey, this is Jasmine with Comier Net Production Studios. We'd like to thank you for viewing our feature film, Maddie the Discovery. Continue to show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to hit that bell for more content. Enjoy. The past is a funny thing. It don't make you laugh, but it makes you feel funny. Uncomfortable. Especially when it belongs to someone else and they keep reliving it in front of you over and over again. Lord, this is too much. <laughs> Please. <laughs> My grandma once told me some stories are better shown to you than told to you. And for as long as I could remember, God has been showing me stories. I would see people I'd never met in places I'd never been and watch their lives unfold right before my eyes. I often wondered if I was somehow able to change or alter what I was seeing or if I could tell the person involved and maybe they could prevent it. Or was it simply just a matter of preparing for it? The gift grew as I did, inviting more strangers to bombard my spirit with hardships and pain. In order to sleep, I'd pretend it was really one big picture show constantly going on in my mind. i just watch and wait for the show to end. But one day, God started showing me pictures of people I knew, people I loved. Then one day, he showed me my story with my eyes wide open. Someday, I'm gonna marry a man so handsome, I'll faint every time I see him. Faint? That sounds like low blood sugar to me. Besides, you ain't gonna find no prince around here, no way. Even this town's frogs is ugly. <laughs> frogs? Okay. No boy ain't gonna want no decent girl like you, Maddie. They only like the nasty ones. She had it again, nothing. When ain't she at it? She do everything she can to upset Mama. Scaring Scylla, fighting me. Maddie, it's not punishing me. I reckon God knew you was gonna hate it when he gave it to you. Then why? Why my sister, my mother, my life. I don't know, Nessie. Oh, well, ain't that cute? 
Y'all make such a nice looking couple. Speaking of ugly frog. Who is you talking to? It's Ah. Who are you talking to? What you doing at school? Don't you have a dish to wash? A floor to mop? Some cotton to pick? Just a slave. Her bright yellow eyes got you mixed up with somebody else. Besides, if you hit her, it'll only make a big mouth bigger. Maddie, come on back. Yes, I ain't done with you yet. It looks like he's not finished with you either, pretty girl. What did you say? My pretty, pretty girl. What did you say? You heard me. What did that mean? Why did you say that? Come on, we're already late. What was that back there? It was like you were gone. I can't. Nothing. You're already here. And I thought that Mama's sick. She can't be there by herself and still too little to look after her. Sorry, Maddie. It's okay. It's okay. I will come by and give you the work like I do all the time. And I'll help you with Scylla. It's gonna be okay. I promise, it's gonna be all right. If you see her, just keep going, okay? Keep going, promise me. All right, and you go be smart for the both of us. Have you ever wondered why some folks' baskets seem always full? Always seem to have enough while others gotta always fetch for baskets with holes. Not even time to mend the basket before they lose something else. Grandma said God is just. She said the weight of his justice is evenly placed on the backs of all his people. Don't matter if you're someone friend or enemy, rich or poor, he never give you more than you can bear. I wondered though, if he would consider taking just a little off my friend's shoulders. Just a little bit. Some of God's most valuable lessons will never see the inside of a classroom. All I'm saying is I ain't gonna let nobody cheat me out of what's mine. What's going on? Something wrong? Nothing, baby. Nothing's wrong. Your daddy was fishing today, and he just lost another big fish today. He didn't lose no fish, Daddy. You ain't forgot the difference between a, a job and a fish. <laughs> he lost another job. He didn't lose no fish. And it ain't gonna hurt this child to know that her help comes from God. <laughs> and if she don't learn early, she gonna spend a lot of nights going to bed hungry. Guess what happened to me today? I got Miss Caroline real good. Believe me when I say she won't be messing with me no more. I didn't know you two kids were still fighting. I thought your brother told you to leave her alone. Isn't that the pretty little girl with the yellow eyes? She live up there in the old Patterson farm. Hush up, Annie. Look here, Maddie. You best not have done anything that's gonna cost me a cent, you hear me? It ain't gonna cost you a thing, Daddy. Now, we were outside today, we were laying down, me and Nephi, and we were just talking about things, and there she comes, her whole crew, and then she was talking about Nephi, and she was saying stuff, and, and I put her in her place, and, and... What? What did I say? What makes you think that it's okay? to use God's greatest gifts to hurt somebody just because you don't like them. What about how she treated Nephi? She's always got something mean to say. She ain't nothing but an old, yellow-eyed... I just hear what I think you said. Grandma, 
I'm just saying. No, I'm saying. You are wrong, and you are going to apologize. I'm going to what? Grandma, just get the strap and beat me now. <laughs> I appreciate your offer. But you go on in there and get my dress. Go on. Hurry up. Me and your little narrow butt is going to be doing some traveling. So let's just hightail on out that door. Mama, Daddy, please, you know she... Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> no, ma'am. Mm -mm. Come on. You're going to be needing to write a note because I'm going to knock your lips off. Now let's go. Okay, y'all have a good time. The farm was actually an old plantation that once belonged to the Patterson family many, many, many years ago. Although the original owner treated his people fairly well, his great-great-great-grandson did not. I don't know why you're slowing up. This ain't nobody's fault but your own. Did you just roll your eyes at me, Missy? You better back that up. Come on here, let's go. Acting like somebody wants to be out here because of you. I don't want to be out here, but we're going to go see about this. It's just up there on the hill. Come on, let's go. Because you got some, something to say to somebody, and I'm going to see to it that you say it, too. Let's go. Junior! That you? What's done is done. You just let it be. Enough. Junior! Where you been, boy? Out, Daddy. Just, just, just hanging out with some friends. You been seeing that girl? You been sneaking up to that old man's farm like I told you not to? So I tell you not to see that girl, and you just gonna ignore me? Is that what you're doing now? Huh? Daddy, I was hanging out with some friends. Blind me, boy! <laughs> Oh. Sam, you know the birds have been eating up my fence again. You you reckon that's the ants in the woods, Sam? You fixing to get killed over some girl? I told you let go, boy. They're gonna shoot you between your stupid eyes, boy. Get off me, woman. You as good as dead. Sam, baby. Baby, he didn't, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean no harm, baby. He didn't mean no harm. He lost another big fish today. But he didn't mean no harm, baby. He didn't mean it. Junior, he didn't mean it. From the moment the door opened, he seemed familiar. Something about his eyes. When I heard his voice, I knew who he was. Betty Jean. I knew what he'd done. It's been a mighty long time. I knew what he was. Yes, it's, it's been a long, long some time, and I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. And how are you, Oh, we're doing just fine. Yes. 
What's left of us, anyhow? I'm just visiting. Here to see that everything is taken care of. Yes. What brings you two by here today? Well, it's, uh, it seems that uh, Maddie and Carolyn had a little disagreement today in school, and I'm just here to right some wrongs, that's all. Well, her mother's not here, but I believe I can mediate a rift between two classmates. <laughs> What's this all about? Well, you know how children are. They're fighting today and best friends tomorrow. Um, don't you have a little something you need to say to Miss Carolyn? Um, Caroline, um, Sorry. Caroline, seems like Miss Maddie's trying to make amends. The Christian thing to do would be to accept it. Don't you think so? Me, me too. Isn't that wonderful, Betty Jean? That's the way we all should be. Yes, I, yes, I agree. Ready to forgive one another. Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, That's my good girl, Caroline. It's my pretty, pretty girl. Well, I guess me and me, Maddie need to be just mosing on along, and you two have a good day, okay? Come on. Help me down. Yeah, just uh, help me. Okay. Mm. Uh, Mr. Patterson, <laughs> may I have a word with you, uh, please? I in private, please. <laughs> what else can I do for you? I'm a very busy man. Well, it seems that God has given Maddie some, some gifts. Some gifts? What are you getting at, girl? Well, let's just say that, uh, Others say she sees things that they don't believe no one else can see. Secret things. Hidden things. Hidden from whom? What are you getting at, girl? Well, God has shown Maddie some things being done in that house. In secret. Horrible things being done to the innocent. What are you trying to say? Somebody's being hurt in this house? Well, I appreciate you bringing that to my attention. I will personally see to it that nobody gets hurt in this house. There are some things that are so evil. The God won't let them go unrewarded. Sooner or later, they will come to the light, and there will be a great reckoning. Well, well I'm certainly enjoying our little chat. I think it's best that you be getting along now. Things get ugly pretty fast around here, especially in the dark. Come on, Maddie. Let's go. And let God take care of his business. I know, come on, let's go. I saw it. Grandma began every meal with a prayer. And at every meal, it felt like everybody, except Daddy, was still praying. Praying that they could just get through one meal without. Your daddy, he caught a big fish today. It was a, it was a, um, a carp or a trout. That's what it was. Wasn't it, Senior? Stop trying to drag me into your crazy, Annie. I don't understand why you gotta talk to her like that. All you gotta say is that you ain't been fishing in a while. Maybe if you treat her with some respect. You gonna tell me how to treat my wife now? No. I'm asking you to treat my mama with some dignity. Maybe she get better and stop forgetting so much. That's enough, both of you. Gentlemen, you don't 
call my son. If it's that trash. You got somewhere to go for it. <laughs> that girl don't promise you. They gonna fix you up real nice in a hog pen. Huh? <laughs> oh, um, oh, or maybe they're gonna go ahead and fix your room in the eyes. <laughs> you think you better than me, boy? Reckon I better go fetch some trash. Ain't the doggy boy! Maddie, come on, get your mama help her get ready for bed. Mm. Brush your hair up like she like it. And then you. Get ready for tomorrow. Now, wait a minute. I'm fine. I just need to slow down. I know. Take my time. I know it. It's okay. Come on. Come on. I'm fine. That's all right. It's all right. I'm fine. I just think my son got something he wants to discuss with me. I'm telling you, Mama. I'm getting tired. <laughs> so, well, let me stop you right there, son. You better talk to me. Well, you got the good sense that God gave you and the life I let you live. I ain't no bar page. And I ain't no easy win either. House, mama. Mama. I'm a man. And I ask you here to help with Eddie and the kids. But I ain't no child. Oh, I haven't seen or heard nothing that's gonna convince me that you the man. Mm. What's uh, what's your wife's favorite color? What's got to do with it? It's blue. She gets up every every morning and puts that little blue barrette in her hair. What's your son's? Oh, what sports is that your son likes to play? Baseball. He gets up every Saturday and goes out and finishes up the chores that you were too drunk to finish. And then he goes on down there and meets his friends, Todd and Ben. And they play baseball with the bet that you gave him when he was 10 years old. <laughs> Still good, man. So tell me, son, what is up? What's Maddie's best friend's name? I don't know. What'd you say, son? I said I don't know! It's Nephi. Nephi has a dying mother and a little, a little sister. And every day, your daughter brings her homework. Because that child can't catch a break long enough to go to school like everybody else. <laughs> wow. Mm -mm. This is your family. With all the hollering and yelling and bullying, don't make you a man.
think so. Sam. Sam. Where are you going? Dear Lord, please take it away. Please take it away. I bet this will taste better than any old nasty beer. I doubt that. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of stuff. But I do remember something. I remember you used to love to dance. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Annie. It's like yesterday to me. Come on, handsome man. Come on, dance with me. Come on. Dance with me. Come to me. Dance with me. Come on. Come on, dance with me. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. I'll get better. I'll get better. I'll get... You wait and see, baby. You wait and see. I'll get better. I'll get better. I'll get better. Forever shining, somewhere it rises and sets. Sun, remember me. Remember mine when the rest of the world forgets. <laughs> Nothing. Let's get out of here. Oh, are you okay? Let's just go. What happened? We, we can take her, Nephi. We got it. Let's get out of here. Maddie, I think I'm dying. Dreams are the first thing to go. Then hopes. Then the faith. I'm trying to hold on to my faith. Maddie. Come look at this. It hurts me to see something someone once loved just tossed on the road like trash. Had a whole bunch of folks down here the other morning. Said they found some dead animals over there in the dry creek. Some dead animals? Yeah. 
said looked like somebody tried to cover him up, hide him or something. Sounds spooky to me. Dead animals be around here all the time. Nothing strange about that. I guess. Making a big fuss about it. Had the sheriff down here and everything. How's everybody? How's Grandma? Sam? Mom and Dad? You mean that devil that called himself my daddy? He just walk around mean and everybody. He beat Sam and Donnie in black and blue the other day. Now that your daddy might be a hurt man, even a confused one, he's a good man. I know a good one from bad. See, I never met my daddy. Never even saw him. Silver's daddy was a rattlesnake. And so when? My daddy did us the pleasure of dropping naked. Maybe you should just go on and leave. An empty man can be filled. Just give some time and pray. Did you hear that? Yes, I heard you. No, that! That's cool! Be quiet! I don't have time for this! You need to get home and check on your Don't men. Don't you ever put your hands on her again. Or what? You little tramp. If you ever put your hands on me again, I kill you and that little brat. The next time I come home and she there by herself, you may as well consider her dead. She wasn't by herself. You sure about that? Maddie, watch Scylla. <laughs> what? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? You got jokes now? You got jokes now? <laughs> Mama's here, but she's not good. I can't come back. I know. Love you. Love you too. Hey, girl. Laugh about that. Hey, what you doing? Hey, hey. Mark, you the detective are going real wrong, real fast. This ain't over. Hey, over hey, every hey, time hey, you hey, touch hey. her, I'm going to touch you. Go, now. It just felt like it was the right thing to do. I guess. Nephew's had it hard. Real hard. And I'm glad you took up for her. But you gotta be careful, Maddie. You can't just go risking your life just because you think it's the right thing to do. Really? Ain't that what you're doing? What you talking about? Fighting daddy over some girl? Some white girl? Watch your mouth. You don't know what you're talking about, so stay out of it. Ain't that what you're doing? I fight for anybody, Nat. I just did it for Nephew, and guess what, Maddie? I'd do it for Sue Ann if she needed me to. I don't risk my life, Maddie. I just live it. I make mistakes like everybody else. But if I can do something right, I do it no matter what. Come on. I suppose we home hours ago. Reckon I'm in trouble. Might as well go and get it over with.
mind if I come out here and see what you're for? It's your butt, Mama. I guess you can put it wherever you like. <laughs> well, I want to thank you for that warm welcome. Come on, climb up here on my knee like you used to when you was a little boy. I see you peeking. It makes you feel better. Come on. <laughs> I ain't sitting up on your lap, mama. Besides, you got a whole lot less lap than when I was a boy. <laughs> what you brooding about, Sam? Why is your heart always so heavy? Ain't nothing, Mama. I just got a lot on my mind. You want to talk about it? Just need so much. Every time I look around, all I see is what we ain't got. Sam, there's a difference between seeing what you want and what you need. <laughs> it looks to me like you got all you need. Ain't no difference, Mama. I remember when you was a baby, and I would pick you up, pull you up, and feed you, and you would eat and, and eat till the milk just spilled out on the floor. Clearly, you had more than enough to eat, but you just refused to be satisfied. <laughs> I had to take a, 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 a spoon and put it between your mouth and my nipple just to get you off my breath. Now, you was a greedy little something. <laughs> now, that's nasty, Mom. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Lord. No. Say him. Say him. I believe before God will, will move on our behalf, he wants us to, to thank him. For what he's already done. God, Mama. He's always God's son. He ain't against you. God ain't against me. Then where is he? Where is he? Look at my life, Mama. Grounds that won't grow. Got children that disrespect me. Mama, I got a wife. I can't stay in her right mind. God can't against me. Say, there's nothing wrong with your land. If you want more out of it, you've got to put more into it. You got to get out here, and you got to turn that soil over and pull up them weeds and plow. You've got to serve the land that God already gave you by sowing some seeds, Sam. If you want more out of your children, you've got to sow some seeds. If you want more out of your wife, sow some seeds, Sam. You don't understand. I'm a trucker. Sam. You can't plow nothing with pride. Pride always plunders. It will always take more than it gives. It will take and take and take until all your dreams are wasted on the ground. Sam, Sam, a tired man don't have to fight to win. He just needs to endure. It's tired. It's tired. Oh, Lord, help us. Help us, Lord, help us.
what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing. Nothing ever again. Ever, ever again? Samuel Melrose Styles Jr., would you do me the honor of being my husband? Heck no. We haven't even had our tawdry affair yet. My dear, that is the only proposal you are going to get from me. Thy lips are like a thread of scarlet, and thy speech is comely. Thy temples are like pieces of a pomegranate within thy locks, and thy neck is like the Tower of David, built for an armory, whereon there hang a thousand men. <laughs> Sam, did you write that? No. It's beautiful. King Solomon did. A king? A king? Settling for a prince when I could have a king. <laughs> Someday I'll marry you. And I'll wait for the world to agree. I'll wait for this town to accept it. Or my father. Boy! I don't told you not to come back up here! I told you not to see her! What you want to do? Get my only boy killed? No, I... Go! Let me and my daddy have a talk. You go! My only boy. Hold on a tree! Oh, I, I hear nothing to you, right? What I said don't mean nothing to you, right? You're my daddy. I respect you. I love you. You respect me? But this is my life. I love her, daddy. Don't you ever say that to me, boy. Don't you ever say that to me, boy. Don't you ever say that to me. Don't you ever say that to me. Don't you ever say that to me. You shut up. You shut up right now. You shut up. Don't you ever say that to me again. Lord, please, please don't take my child. Please, Lord. Please, Lord, please don't take my child, please. Uh, Grandma? Grandma? Uh, Grandma? Uh, Grandma? Grandma? Daddy! Daddy. Uh, Grandma? Uh, Daddy. Daddy! Daddy, go quick! night praying. <laughs> What's wrong with your leg, Grandma? You fine, baby. Well, look on the edge of my bed there and give me those pills and that salve. I'm going to put a little of that salve on it to make you feel better. And that pill, that'll, that'll take away the ache. Yeah. Come on. Thank you, baby. Sweetie, I got what the old folks used to call sugar. <laughs> yeah, I'm OK. It just. It just flared up while I was praying, but this will be fine for me, so don't you, don't you get to fretting. And sure enough, don't you tell your daddy. He got, he got more than enough to worry about. I'll keep quiet if you promise to see Dr. Charles. Oh, baby, I'm okay. There's no need to see the doctor. God showed me you were sick. Mm. I... I had another vision, not like any of the other ones. You were on the ground, and you couldn't wake you up. When I woke up, I heard a voice say to come help you. Hey, Grandma, you need to get some help. Please. Or 
I will tell Daddy. I swear I will. Now, don't you go swearing. Okay. I'm going to try and go by and see the doctor maybe later on today. I promise. But I'm just so thankful. The Lord sent you in here to see about me. I'm just so thankful, baby. Just so thankful. <laughs> now, don't you worry about me. I'm going to take one of these old pills, and I'm going to be just fine. You'll see. I'll be just fine. Sit down, son. Please? Got a lot of chores this morning, Mom. Come sit down with your mama for a while. <sighs> Do you remember? when you killed that baby bird? Yeah, I remember. I was young then, Mom. Like five or six. Do you remember how it made? How, how you felt? I remember wishing I had held on so tight. Beer is a terrible thing. Terrible. from you one day at a time. It takes everything that's beautiful away from me. I wish I was more like Daddy. He ain't afraid of nothing. When you were a baby, the sun would set or rise on your brown vine. Your daddy, he, he used to just sit and look at you all night, like, like he was gonna blow away or something. It was like he was having a dream. One day you got real sick. One day you got real sick and we didn't have anything and, and, and what we did have, your dad took that and went. And then he went to bed for the rest. I... We took two buses to the hospital. And, and, and when we got there, he told the doctor, whatever he needed, whatever he needed to take to get your care, your dad. He will take care of it. He... That was then, Mama. This is a different time, and, and he's a different man. Half the time, he's got my head ringing. 
with pain. Baby, your daddy loves you. What you see him is fear. And when fear has you like that, it takes you get you gotta take whoever or whatever and, and go. What you told me to do. I said what you told me to say, Lord. I said what you told me to Now, if you're sure looking forward to that cake, Mama. Her birthday next week. I remember when she was your age. She is my age, Mama. I remember. I, ju I just, I just, I just got to make her that chocolate cake. So I'm going to have to ask your dad to go to the store for me. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so I can't wait to taste it, Mama. Girl, you are kicking up an awful lot of fuss. You gonna wake your dad with all that noise. Maddie, go get them grease from outside. Yes, ma'am. Grandma, guess what? Mama's gonna make me one of them delicious chocolate cakes for nephew's birthday. Oh, that's nice. I'm sure we got that recipe around here somewhere. I hope you find it in. Recipe? I don't need no recipe. My mama taught me how to make that cake when I was just a little girl. Now, I said I was going to help you find it because I'm the one that gave it to you. Now, your mama taught you how to make sweet potato pie. But I taught you how to make that chocolate cake. That that's not true. My mama taught me how to make that cake. You 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 mixed up, Betty Jean. You're just a little confused. Maddie, go get those greens. Why are we so young? always make me look stupid and foolish in front of people. Why do you always do that? I'm not going to stay in here another second until you do right by me. Do you hear me? I'll be better. I promise. So, why don't we just, just have a little bit of our tea, okay? Just have some tea. I love you, Mary. But we gotta treat each other better. I've done too much for you. We are all each other got. 
And we got to treat each other better. Yes. Okay. You know, Daddy don't like to see us fight. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just go ahead and have our tea, okay? I see you here. Or am I just dreaming? Oh. I am. About me? <laughs> I hope I never wake up. <laughs> You're the only reason I haven't given up. Really? Does the things he does. I don't know how much more I can take him. <laughs> Sometimes I just want to run away. Never look back. You can take me with you. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. You know that. You're not him. You've got me. <laughs> Make everything easier. Go find my brother. Tell me what to do, Betty G. How am I going to save my babies? How am I going to save my children? I don't know. I just don't. What's the bag for, senior? Well, I, I reckon it's uh, time I leave for a while. Just to like, get my hair clear. Get my life back together. I'll be back. When, when, I'll be back, Annie. When was you going to tell me this plan? Annie Shepard. I just think Man, that... I will kill you! Hey! Ain't worth it. You are gonna stay right here with me or else. Can you put the knife down, please? Put the bag down! 
put the bag down. I need my husband and my children. They need their daddy. Put the bag down! What happens when you leave? Is everything just going back to normal? Huh? You think we got sunshine hidden in the closet? Just wait until you leave before we let it out? And if you come back, is it gonna be my turn to leave? Is it gonna be Annie's? Are we all just gonna abandon one another? When we get too tired? When we can't figure it out? I don't know what you're gonna do, Mama! Okay. Well, I guess you better go and leave, son. But I'll tell you this there will always be that one question on everybody's mind, and only you. Can I ask you? Aren't you man enough? Aren't you man enough? told me having someone show you what happened is much better than having someone tell you. Grandma was wrong. I get it. Seeing it doesn't make it better at all. I don't want you to die. She's getting ugly pretty fast around here. This is my life. My life. Especially in the dark. I love her, Daddy. Love her, Daddy. You left me. I don't know why. What am I supposed to do now? 